everybody can. Today it's a great day for me. It's another day I get to say to Yahweh, great God Almighty, and in the spirit of the Yeshua, be praised in this city of my God of righteousness and my God of integrity. Today I get to speak briefly for a few minutes on the word integrity. This, this day was ordained by the Almighty Creator and the Sustainer of all living. I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night, wherever you may be, when you get to hear this short, brief message. To update those who follow, who follow me, as I have followed the spirit of truth, the spirit of faith, in the spirit of hope, in the spirit of love. Thus, the word integrity, adherence to moral and ethical principles. I ask my country today, are we adhering to moral and ethical principles or are we going along with the program that have devastated our country, in my humble opinion, while the country itself, the rock, was built and added upon and built upon in some directions. The greater direction where the majority of people lived in 1965, in 1956, when Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary II was inaugurated as reigning sovereign of our nation. For 16 years, Bahamas, the Royal House of Windsor lauded as our sovereign over a people, over a family, over men and their wives and their children. God have created all of us equal according to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Equal in dignity and in rights. Now, as of 1973, this nation became a sovereign independent. Let's take care of our own responsibility. Because Great Britain was not able to continue that, that, that responsibility. Well, when they had the responsibility, they did very little, in my humble opinion, because the Bay Street Boys was running the Bahamas. Now, Wood Rogers expelled the pirates in the 1700s, and from that day to this day, okay, let's say about 300 years later, Father Yahweh have expelled the pirates, the business pirates who promote team over family women over men, corporations over countries, us over country sovereignty. You see, before our country went independent and became a sovereign nation, the majority of the people lived on the family of islands in the southeast. When it comes to the large, the associations, the grandmaster, more than 360 degrees, he turned. Okay? In this case, I only had to turn 180 degrees to God Yahweh, and that's back to my, who I am and where I came from. And that's because of the hardship that the world system have brought on all countries, primarily and specifically the Bahamas, under the last, the sitting prime minister, the former one, ministers of finance in the last 22, 23 years, two to three yet more years to go. And I'm saying to the Bahamian people, Today, if we cannot buy food and we are denied jobs by our political leaders and seconded by corrupt spiritual leaders who, as long as they are taken care of and their membership have the jobs, certain jobs, that's fine, they, they have it, the rest of the country. Well, I'm here to tell you, I was born on the 17th year the world chose to honor the Royal House of Windsor and Her Majesty reigning sovereign even today over our nation officially. 
but the world now knows that the true bloodline of this young man have now declared his sovereignty by bloodline. That does not make me better than many other behaviors. It just simply means that had the grace of God was not on the side of Hubert and Perry Glass and Christie, Hubert Ingram and Perry Glass and Christie, and favor by the people, they will not have and given a chance to lead. What, where would they have been today? In any event, they're leaving our country in a dilapidated, trodden down state. Worse, in my humble opinion, than how the FNM claimed they met the Progressive Liberal Party in 1992. You see, what goes around comes around. The world is like it's in this bubble, this circle. Okay? It's not flat. Now, this country is at the edge of a political obliteration in regards to the sea, the men, the male of the country. The black history is the cause for this, this primary principal reason. Now, adherence to moral and ethical principles. Our preamble of the Bahamian Constitution states that we were founded on godly spiritual values and Christian principles. Now, in regards to Christianity, the Constitution affords any Bahamian the right to change their religion. All of my life, I was dubbed a Gentile. I am now declaring I am the royal bloodline of this Bahamas. Okay? With, by bloodline, meaning that the bloodline is pure for more than 600 years. Pure. And then, a birth took place on the 17th year the world chose were about to honor the Royal House of Windsor, the 2nd of June. I was born in the Bahamas. The hurricane season starts the 1st of June. I born on the 2nd of June. I born in the time of the world. And I said to the world system, if you have, if you have ever heard the truth before, you're hearing it now. If you haven't ever heard the truth before, you're, not, you're hearing it now. But you all know the truth. You see, the House of Windsor should have honored Willis Miller um, coming back from World War II as a national Bahamian hero. Okay? Thus, in my humble opinion, the nation would have, after uh, the privilege, have the privilege to learn about the man. And learning about the man will reflect the time he lived and the generation. And, from, and, to, and to not honor this man, in my humble opinion, is a violation, okay, of everything that would have been a blessing to him and his house more than a curse. So there is no ethic, ethics in the fact to know that from those times to now, he have never been honored and perhaps will never be honored, okay? soundness of moral character, honesty. We were always taught that honesty is the best policy. Yes, sir! Hey! Just give me a moment, please. Come upstairs. Come inside the yard. Soundness of moral character. Honesty. I beg your pardon that interruption. Okay, so I personify what soundness of moral character ought to be because I believe in the spirit of the Yeshua. I want to worship and, the Yeshua and learn about the Yeshua and under the Constitution I have these rights. However, my constitutional rights have been contravened and violated because of these reasons. Right? Justice is not caught. They have perjured themselves in, the own, in their own Supreme Court in regards to names that they know were to be false and in the context of it of which the names were falsified and, fr and fraudulent fr falsified and seconded by the justice and the lawyers and attorneys of the First Caribbean International Bank 
uh, Harry B. Sands and Mosky and Company, and Patricia Roberts of the Second Defendant, which should be Pat Tiffany Patricia Melanie Roll, but they say her name is Tiffany Patrice. Now the records and everything, the truth will reflect. This is a conspiracy and was a government of conspiracy, seconded by corrupt church leaders and um, to, to the defraud me out of all this rich history and the house of the intent to defraud me out of my life. And thus I bring a charge against those concerned for fraudulently trying to defraud me out of my historical, behemoth historical rights to, to everything that as a behemoth I'm entitled to by way of my grandfather who was in uh, World War II and also established the Acklands Cricket Island and Donkey Association in 1965. Okay, the Queen was inaugurated in 1956. It's a rich history. I born on the day the world chose to honor the Royal House of Windsor. So if a birth was on the 2nd of June on that particular day, and especially in this month, that should have also been known as a national birth. This is a conspiracy to defraud this rich history. That, 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 that's treason. Because now there is no bloodline when you analyze the people that is governing the country and have been governing the country from 1992 to 2013. And if you give them a chance to how they have made all the justice the way they did, justices and lawyers have been passed over. You see, and they are only now addressing serious matters and concerns by justices because I, the truth, are now no longer supporting either side and I'm more balanced. Okay? Integrity also is defined as the state of being whole, entire, undiminished, to preserve the integrity of this kingdom, I make this declaration. Integrity is also a sound, unimpaired, a perfect condition. The conditions were perfect. The conditions were the truth. Just to honor the man, your fear. And that's because the, what he stood for represented and did not reflect what y'all wanted um, the Bahamas to be 40 years later. Y'all wanted that race and everything they stood for to be erased. And y'all used people who bloodline was mixed to run this country. Thus, you make it very, very bad for a man like me. And thus, it's, I'm not surprising so many Johnsons and Millers and people with real Bahamian names are dying on our streets. And I believe the political uh, director is responsible, directly responsible. Because when you deny Bahamians the right to work from the resources that you sold in regards to their natural resources and you refuse them work and then give the work... Uh, discriminate against me, Amos Jr. Miller Israel, and the other Bahamians in this country to the, ex to the extent that we can lose our, our properties, our mortgages, and the very same influx of Haitian illegal immigrants, and I'm not bringing down that nation as Haitian. Haiti is a great nation in my humble opinion, but I do not, I'm not going to allow my grandfather and his generation used to stop the Haitian sloops from Athens. So how does those sloop get past Acklands all the way to Blue Hill Road, South where I live in my building? The water's right there, right there. How could those boats pass this far? Southeast, they come from out this way then. They come from Southeast. This is North, that's East, straight, I'm facing the East. In the back of me, this portrait is West, and to the right of me is South. So east, those boats traveled so east and came into these shores. It is a conspiracy. I understand from the streets that the defense force destroyed one of the Haitian sloop, and on that sloop was ammunition, Gu uh, uh, um, ammunition for guns. Um, I, I was not there. I did not go. To, um, now I'm definitely not going to investigate anything. But it comes to me. The truth comes to me because I am the truth. Now, the, 
listen, I, I find no fault to, to the extent in, with the house of Sir Lyndon Penland. He did what he had to do. But the blood, he respected the bloodline of my grandfather that he met as the leader of one of the most prestigious church that was built in August of 1948, the Acklands, uh, Pinefield Acklands Native Baptist Church. Okay? It was under the overseer directive of Reverend Elkin Seminet, who's now deceased. May his spirit rest with the Father. His mother was Sarah Johnson. That woman blessed me. Word 242. That blessing came after my grandmother, the mother of my father. She should have been known as our queen mother. She and those generations should be known as our queen mothers. You see, we're not. I'm not a king because of no birth. I'm a king because I worship the God who is king of kings. That's the spirit of the Yeshua in the name of Yahweh. And under the constitution, that's my right. And when I analyze my birth and what who I am as a black man, we believe in equality. We believe in coming together. If it's my resource and the world want to benefit, well, hey, why don't we do business 50-50? You see? So when you take back what you're going to make from my resource, I benefit. And the 50-50, you leave it up to me, it'll be 50, 149. Because the 2% control of share must always be in the hands of the generation that is not yet born. They must always know that the generation before them always had a plan as relates to foundation fundamental principles in regards to in regards to the word integrity. Other than that, we would be slaves in our own country. Okay? The leaders in the last 23 years, judgment have been have been impaired. Okay? Impaired. Have been impaired. They're not thinking clear. The natural resource, the majority of it being in the hands of foreigners, the national debt being as it is, Mr. Mr. Christie borrowed one billion dollars in one year. Mr. Ingram borrowed two billion dollars in five years and he took an extra five days. We read Mr. Ingram for that, former minister of finance, member, former member for North Africa, member of Parliament for North Africa. We grilled the man for that. Because he we said he put the money into infrastructure. And the people can't eat infrastructure. And he gave a lot of the jobs in regards to building the infrastructure. He allowed foreigners to control the lion's share of the money. This was the concern in regards to this young man. I never can condemn him for being a leader. Because he was an elected leader by the people. And I don't want to fly in the face of God's people when they choose who they want to lead. But when you choose, Bahamas, because I'm only one vote, who you want to lead us, and they mess up, when the time comes for me to show who I am as of 2010 in this country, before you are people, all of us are one and equal, then you have to know, you must now do the right thing to listen to reason and common sense. So we, this is what I'm saying in regards to integrity. The Yeshua integrity and his principles and his morals is sound. We must, this country is in a state of an emergency in respect to the influx of illegal immigrants, crime, unemployment, and so forth like that. No answer by the government. You have a minister of Foreign Affairs who's admitting that is nothing his government can do when he knows that is a lie. He is, he have a, he, he's from the Haitian or, or in the origination. And I think um, Mr. Christie and uh, 
You have people like the Chief Justice, great people who run the country with the hate, with either Haitian or Jamaican blood. No problem, in my respect, in my regard. It, but what offends Bahamian and offends me, a real with, 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 with the bloodline that I have, is that my grandfather and their generation lived as one. Everyone had their farm, everyone had their boats. They lived as one. And they shared what they got. And when they worked hard to take control of their country, but, um, 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 and, and, and their children was educated to do so, one house was kept back and kept down, and it was the Willis Miller House. And now the government of the world is now found wanting because the boy who every school I went to, they found a way to get me out of school. When I was sent to Atkins to my grandfather, Willis Miller, they found a way to get me out of the house of my grandfather and back to Nassau where I born. You see, my second oldest brother was killed in a car accident, and I'm telling the world, the government of the Bahamas, I no longer will call individual names and personal actors because they name, they are already named. But just to, to make it sound and firm, and it's in my humble opinion that Hubert Alexander Ingram and Perry Glaston Christie, as large brothers, are responsible for the death of my second oldest brother. Thus, my mother brought me back from Athens. Okay? Had I, I was sent in 73, the spirit of the Most High, through his angelic power, showed up to me. The light came to me in 1976. It is in my humble opinion, I believe. That is when Hubert Ingram and Perry Glaston Christie plan in God's ambitious plan to want to become government of our country took root. And the only people that were responsible and able to make that happen would be the House of Windsor by way of the British Parliament and the American government. And it's a, it is my humble submission with no, great, with no disrespect as relates to what the people will decide in regards to how they will have government. I have ruled in regards to what these men have done to my grandfather to my father and to me, to our home, our house, and our name. We thank God then, as I said in this chair, honor the spirit of the right honor, Sir Lyndon, Oscar Pinman. Yet, I caution the Bahamas to now say he was our political father because our true, our political leader, God Yahweh, and the name Father is reserved now. For God Yahweh, in the spirit of his son, the Yeshua, our father Yahweh is a jealous God. Now you need to go back to your history. It was Father Yahweh's day, Saturday. It was our oppressors and our slave masters who changed the day of worship from Saturday to Sunday. The royal house of Windsor worship on Sunday. Now you could go and do the history and study why. They worship on Sunday. That's not my business. What I'm here to say is with the utmost and greatest respect, now as I pay respect properly to this great and awesome woman of God. Yeah, because you see, God made us and made us all. I now know who I am and the conspiracy to defraud me. And right down to the place where you all had to use my wife, because it was only her who could betray me. The plan was sound, but today I admit it, I was molested by a male when I was 16. That was when what I saw in 1976, the light became light in my heart and lit my heart. And that is when the evil that was in my heart came out or at that which was an abomination in the sight of my Most High, my Yahweh, my spirit of the Yeshua, and he and his son, the spirit of both, have given me the authority of the world. All governments have given me the authority to, to do the right thing now. And I just ask the world now and the Bahamas to understand what they're, what they're looking at and hearing this kind of conversation. The world system have given me the green light to be respectful now and not disrespectful, and then to just go there and live. However, it does not negate the fact that our political leaders still wish to see my demands.
especially my wife. She tried to hit me with a truck, with a truck, on the 4th of September. Okay? The truck owned by Germany, that truck. I only was trying to go to the apartment very early in the morning to take a picture of my children and their beautiful in uniform so I could show the world how pretty they are in their uniform. And even that, that young lady did not want me to, to show the world. Well, you know, the world, it wasn't, the, it wasn't individuals in the world who the system like this came up against. They came up against me. And had I not revealed to the world who I am, they would have already done do to me what they wanted to. But thanks be to God, Yahweh, and the Spirit of His Son, the Yeshua, and my brought upness and brought up sea on the island of Pinefield, Acklands, in the house of Willis and Willis Miller and his wife, Emily Cox Miller, and their generation, I would not be sitting in Sir Clement Maynard's chair. Former Deputy Prime Minister of our country. And I now understand, I think the Maynard too, how foreign national, national foreign national blood and line. Well, that's awesome. I did that just to show I don't know how many people in the blood line. But then, if you were blessed by the resources of the country, why? I, well, okay, so we understand why. All right. So now that we understand why, then let it be known that the documents that were served must be taken back. Or the power that is in my hand in respect to all the powers, you know, you force me to keep revealing to the people more and more of what the 100 year plan of dynamics, the righteous nation, the righteous kingdom. Because you can't, no one can stop me from being who I am. How about that? And y'all know the only way y'all could have come up against me was if y'all use someone closest to me. And who knows the Bible more than the wicked, corrupt people that were in the church who came up against me. Yet yeah, they were defeated even in their church system. Why? Because you came up against me and you failed. I don't have to call his name. And I don't have to call their names who fall in their spirit. This prosperity spirit. God says, when it comes to me. I don't get it in his life. Remember, he made his word. You know, to, to go out and not return to him void. My God appearance that came to me and the power of his appearance was, 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 was like lightning. His content, his clothing was white like snow. That's what came to me. That's why the power of the world is in my hands and they have given me the respect technically in a certain way. And they, they just got to, the Bahamas have to understand also we're in a global world and you know, there's a price to pay for certain things. We must now pay for what we, you know, desire to have. The only way you can pay for these things is if you hold on to your natural resources. You cannot hold on to your natural resources. If the families who are in office continue to be your legislators, okay, and and your, your, your legislators, number one, and they make everything. So it's my humble submission that these two form, um, these two prime ministers, former, former and present prime ministers, ministers of finance for the last 23 years, within the last 23 years, have given the natural resources back to the oppressors who, who oppressed black people in, from the beginning and who always wanted control of our country and or to, to get control back. So I saw I sum up it all now that I would have done the right thing in 2010 and still profess the truth. I'm not a homosexual. I'm far from it. And I'll kill any man in the name of God who tries to molest my person in that way. I have a right to defend me and I have a right to defend my family. I have a right to defend my property. And all of these cases, that is where I have found that lawyers okay, private law, law firms, um, and some justices have some questions to answer. 
Um, the right thing to do is to, I don't care who, how it go there, I'm not going to ask who put it there, but my bank account at the Bank of the Bahamas, right over here, not Carmichael Road branch, my bank, my private account is account number 551-0048-927. I repeat, at the Bank of the Bahamas International Branch, Carmichael Road Branch, 195, Amos Jr. Miller account, private account is there. Israel, Amos Jr. Miller account is there. But y'all remember Israel just for a point of reference. But you don't, don't ask for Israel, you ask for Amos Jr. Miller. Y'all be a blessing. That account. So we can see if the system will try to block you all from being a blessing. You have a dollar, you have one cent. And before you throw it a one cent, you put your jars of one cent you have, you don't tie it, put them together. I'll put them together. Give it to me. I'll use it. And, and then you give me your name. And I'll use it in such a way. I'll make something special for you. And then you, you personally will know why God chose the second of June in the Bahamas. Because by the time I was born in 1970, how many hurricanes have did the Bahamas experienced from the time they were recording hurricanes in the Bahamas? How many hurricanes before that? Before 1970, the second of June, 1970. So, in other words, we were already known. The month of June already were already known as the month for the harvest or the start of the hurricane season until November. My ex-wife, born in October. So we both born in 1970. So we both born in the time of the world. Right? In order, proper order, it was, if the marriage did end, end in the proper order, then it would have been a nice way. But because of the conspiracy to the fraud made out of my earthly possession, which is my by right, by right and rightful passage, the respect that is old and like old people would say, but do in, but do in, ta -da. Now the foreigners, because Bahamians were denied the right to work in our country, foreigners were given and granted that right to work. How many citizens are in our country, foreign citizens are in our country? that have right to Bahamian resources when Bahamians are being denied at this very moment. And hungry, I might add. So, at the Bank of the Bahamas, international, I have cut off Royal Bank, I have cut off the First Caribbean International Bank, but I pay respect to Royal Bank. Yet, Commonwealth Bank as well. These banks does not mean Bahamian, in my case, the best of our ability, well, when it comes to entrepreneurship. They give you money yesterday for cars. No problem. But want to take yourself out of this problem. They'll give you the money to buy the property, buy your this, buy your that. In my case, the property the truck. I need a truck. I said I need a truck and a ball cap. They denied me. Now, from the time that happened in 2007 to now, 2013, they have been found wanted. Six years later, I got them in my hand for trying to, um, through false pretense, through fraud, True fraud, okay? Because when you use a name in the honorable court and take a position under that name, knowing the truth in respect to that name is in regards to that name, there's another truth to that. That's perjury. That means you justices, your attorneys, you have now been officially characterized as crooks. Don't test this water no more. I don't need to know where it comes from. I 
I just need to now go ahead and be a decent young man in my country. Clean up this mess of a property, develop it if I can, sell it, pay off my obligations to everyone, and move on in a decent way in regards to my dignity, in regards to my fundamental, fundamental, sovereign, hereditary right that is now before 1973. So the Bahamas have to go with the story of 1973. That's when you're born. Amos Jr. Miller, born the 2nd of June, 1970, a prestigious, prestigious day in regards to the House of Windsor and the British Parliament that were present in regards to the honoring of the House of Windsor and the reigning sovereign on that day as reigning sovereign over my country. And I now claim rights to my country because each of us are owners of this country individually. Now, if your grandfather did not serve in World War II, your grand and, and perhaps before that did not work on the contract, serve in World War II, and was dissed by the British Parliament for, uh, in regards to honoring in, of that man, and then you did not honor him for the contract time, you did not honor him for the World War time, and now 